Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today, episode 161 of this series now and we've got one system to do today from the user ErrorXD in Discord so a massive thank you to him for sending this in and we are also in update 24.1 as requested as this simulation was built in update 24. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this. So here it is right here, 36 um, star somewhat stable system. So let's see what... He prepared for us here okay it looks like we've got that weird surface data we are in update 24 so yeah this one was trouble so let's see what he said so welcome to my 36 star somewhat stable system spanning over a total length of two light years okay um if any objects are broken that could be 24.1 being annoying yeah that that is yeah update 24 was an ulti one uh 24.1.2 we were in that's the only version i can access um now we're going back in time on the uh, steam stuff so Okay, let's get started. So, um, I advise using studio mode. The game does not like this many stars at once. Yeah, if you go on realistic mode, I mean, we can do a little demo just to see how crazy it is on a rocky planet because they're usually the better ones to do it on. So, we'll have a little look at that. Right, so first planet. So, 1B, a gas world with lots of toxic chemicals on its atmosphere. So, here it is here. Okay, so as we can see, very dark, grayish, sort of greeny, yeah, very, very dark, toxic looking, basically. So, there's 1B. Next up, we've got 2 and then uh, 2B, is is it in orbit of this? Okay, there it is, right. Whoa, okay, whoa, this one looks cool. I like the way that looks. We are on studio mode, but is that is that all molten rock, or is that a... I mean, yeah, it's a, okay. That looks really cool. I don't know if that's... Uh, yeah, it's all, all done from its surface temperature, making it look really, really cool. That's a good-looking world. So, let's actually, let's do the realistic and just see what happens. So, realistic... Could be worse, I guess, with this many stars in the sim. Ah, interesting. So we'll go back in the studio. So there is 2B or not 2B. So pretty cool stuff there. So a hot super. -er. Okay. Right, next up we've got 3C. So we need to find star 3. Okay, so this is gonna this is gonna be quite hard to navigate. Right. So we've got 3. Oh wait, so 3C. So 4 is here. Oh, 4 and 3 are in a binary. Okay. So we've got 3B. Another hot rock, this time slightly cooler. So here it is. It's obviously very, very hot and sparsy there. So 3B, and then 3C over here. A mini Neptune with nitrogen and a water atmosphere. Okay, looking good. We'll turn off the zones. So there goes a nice, simple, good old, plain, uh, pale blue ice giant there. Excellent. So 3C. Right, where are we heading? This is where it's getting a little hard to navigate. Right, so there's no star or no objects around 4 or 5. So we're heading straight to star 6 now over here. So 5 and 6 look like they're in a binary together as well. Very, very close. Barry center stuff there. So both of those guys give it. And then we've got 6B over here. A planet with an atmosphere of neon gas. Neon gas, hey, one of the halogen gases. Is it one of the halogens? Oh, no, it's one of the noble. I think it's one of the noble gases on the periodic table. So there it is. Okay, let's try the realistic on this. Yeah, that's what you get when you have realistic mode on with this many stars. All the shadows sort of go all over the place. It's looking really crazy there with realistic mode. So there we are. So 6B. Okay. Next up, we've got 7B. So we've got a gas dwarf in here. Okay. So 7's over here. So here is 7B. Alrighty. So here we go. Ooh. Ooh, I'm liking that. Okay. So a gas dwarf that is also a supercritical planet, although supercritical oceans will eventually evaporate. Anyone know? What's a supercritical ocean? Don't know what that is off the top of my head. So yeah, please let me know in the comments if anyone knows. Um, so 7B. Yeah, ni nice green gas giant there. Looking cool. So 7B. Alright, where we had next? Uh, anything around it? So there's a world around 8 as well. Okay, so 8B. A hatable world that will eventually become tidally locked. Alright, okay, so it looks like the surface data on this one may have been upset. We can see if we can try and fix it quickly. So, lower the water a bit. Maybe that will help. No, all right, it's just now showing all the surface up. Dang it, it's one of those weird... Yeah, the surface grids in this version of the game were definitely not um, the best. And yeah, this was update 24 after all. This was the update. It did change a lot of things. So I guess we can get it to sort of look like that. So there we go. Better than nothing. Uh, Stats-wise, 98 and 82. So very strong stats on that one. Looking good. So there's 8B. All right, now we have 9B coming up. So where are we now? So star 9. It's over here. Okay, so they're in a binary with 10. This is a crazy how this is built. All right, so 9 and then 9B. Okay, excellent. An extremely small gas dwarf with nitrogen and hydrogen atmosphere. How, how large is this guy then? Oh, that is tough. That's not that much larger than Pluto or Eris or Triton. That's that's fairly small. So there's 9B. 
Oh, oh, okay, right. Um, basically, the child is a Tenby. So apparently, this is a Saturn like world. Basically, the child is Saturn and Jupiter if it was close to its main star. Right. Here we are. So zooming in here, we'll see what we got. Okay. So I'm guessing it's fairly large in size, similar size to Saturn and on, on mass and radius by the looks of it there. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, so that's what it looks like underneath. Okay, cool. So 10B. Right, next up we have got 11. Very hatable world with brown vegetation. Okay, so star 11 is over here. Okay, so we've sort of got out the main sort of inner area of the system now. So 11B over here. All the way down. Okay. So this world, extremely hatable. Let's check its... Um, we can lower the water a bit just to... I'm guessing it's going to look more like that. Uh, Stat-wise, 100 Earth similarity and 95 likelihood. So this was probably built off an Earth originally. We can see it's got the same radius. So we have very, very high levels there. Excellent. So 11B. All right, next up we've got 12B. Um, this is just Uranus if it was a gas dwarf. Right, so where's star 12? Okay, over here. Zoom all the way in. Okay, star 12. Oh, there's two planets around here. Cool. Right, so 12B. Yeah. Oh, this is... Uh, I was looking at 12C. So this is 12B. So an ocean world with an aqua-coloured algae. It's a good-looking world. I'm liking it. So 12B. And then 12C over here. There it is. So, hey, it's a nice uh, miniature sort of uh, Uranus look like there. Okay, cool. So a lot of small gassy worlds in this system. And I like how there's not many planets around each star as well, because obviously a planet, a star with loads of planets wouldn't work in a system like this, I reckon. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, 13, there's no stars around 13. So is there a 14 over here? Oh, so star 13 and 14, and then we have a 15. And then there's, oh, 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 it's a brown dwarf star. Hey, look at that. It's got a really crazy glow on it as well. That's looking cool. So over here, so we've got 15B. Okay, so this is... Um, Mars is emo tin, and you wouldn't be wrong. So, so yeah, the completely dark conversion, still got like a slight atmosphere on it. But what we think we need to do is, I think we need a screenshot of that from the surface. Let's have a, let's have a nice look down here. Have a look around. Yeah, look at that. Right. Let's try and get a real nice, uh, real nice, cool shot of it. Try and get on the surface in a good spot. Look around. There you go. What do you think of that? That's looking cool. And you can see the other stars sort of in the background as well. That's cool. I like that. I'll probably have to use that for the thumbnail, I think. That'd be really, really cool. So there's those guys. Right, all this enables back on. So we've done 15. Okay, oh, right, so heading all, all the way out here next. Right. So we're not even like halfway through. So we've got star 19 over here. Okay, so over here we've got 16. Uh, a planet with pretty natural resources. So where's 16? So 16B. Okay, all the way here. Okay, there it is. Ooh, I'm liking that. It looks like a tinted colored IO. That's looking cool. I'm liking that. That's a good looker. Very nice indeed. So 60B, natural resources. That's good. I like that one. Um, next up, we've got 17B. The planet has an iron surface and an oxygen atmosphere. Right, so that's over here. Zoom all the way in. There it is. Okay, so it looks like a moon that's had a different color to it. Looking good. Nice to have some craters um, going on there. So now we have uh, 18B. Oh, just hit the thing there. Right, uh, 18B. Um, a world with lots of amethyst in its atmosphere. Right, okay. Oh, yes. That's a gorgeous looking object. Loving that. Yellow with the yellow atmosphere of the Earth. Obviously, amethyst sort of colored surface. Yeah, that's that's a good look at there. I like that one. Uh, next up, we've got 19. So we need to head over somewhere. Uh, where, where did 19 go? Oh, no, I've lost track of them. No, uh, that, that one. There we go. There's 19. So the exact opposite A 18B, this atmosphere, atmospheric amethyst dust. Whoa. That's uh, very, very hot. Very, very hot indeed. Okay, 19B, right. Excellent. Oh, there's 19C as well. 19C. This is a Neptune being tortured by its host star. Oh, I think he's got them mixed up. So 19B. Is actually going to be 19. C oh no, that was 18B. Oh no, I'm just reading everything like a maniac. So 19B. This is a Neptune being tortured by its host star. So there you go. It's super hot there. And then secondly, we have this one over here. So this is the exact opposite 18B. This has an atmosphere of atmosphere dust. Uh, amethyst dust. Sorry. So there's that one. Nice. It's opposite. The, the colors are inverted on that one, which is quite cool. Right. Next up, we've got 20. 
20 B. Right, so 20 stuff here. A water world that resembles an early earth. Right, where where is it? Over here. 20 B. So an early earth, hey, it's looking cool. Nice sort of greenish atmosphere going on there. Looking good. So 20. Right, next up we've got 21B. This planet has a toxic atmosphere and would be surface colored in graphite. Uh, Venus would be jealous. <laughs> right, what we got? 21B. So I'm guessing it's going to be quite a thick atmosphere world. Yeah, oh, it's green as well. Oh, yeah. Let's look underneath. There you go. So that's what the appearance looks like underneath. Okay, cool. So 21B. Next up we've got 22B, the hottest rock. 22. Where, where's star 22? We're taking another jump out. Okay, so we're on the final sort of uh, leg now. So 22 and 23, they're in a binary. So here's 22C. So this is 22C. Oh, so there's a 22B. So this planet has a lot of uh, air algae. I think you can see why it's green. So yeah, nice shady green. So where's this hottest rock at? So 22. I guess it's closer to the star. There it is. Excellent. All the way down here. And yeah, the hottest rock. It's 1902 degrees. There you go. Right. So next up we've got 23B. So where's, where's that? So 23. I guess it's a little closer in. There it is. So 23B. A breathable gas dwarf. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you can see a Venus sort of texture underneath that as well. Cool. So 23B. Excellent. Right. Now we're heading to star 25. A planet with a concerning amount of deserts. Right. 25. Over here. 24, 25B. So here's 25B, okay. Planet with a concerned amount of deserts. So we can see the entire world is desert. He's built it off of Mars as a template as well. Made it even more orange. Look at that. Hey. So 25B. Okay, next up we've got 26B. A gas dwarf with a smog atmosphere. Right, where's star 26 over here? Excellent. Smog atmosphere. So 26 is another brown dwarf, actually. And then 26B. Oh, yeah, so darkened, darkened gas world. Hey, that's cool. Right, next up we've got 27B, an asteroid with a subsurface ocean. We go over here then, right. Subsurface ocean and life. Do not question how it happened. <laughs> right, there we are. So let's see what this object's got for us. So it's pretty small. Oh, wow, it's very blue. <laughs> hey, blue asteroid. Right, cool. 28, this planet formed recently in this cooling down okay so it's a new fresh planet over here around the blue stars Alrighty. this planet formed recently so there it is okay so it's still sort of working itself out there okay so it's still cooling down not the not the hottest object in here now right next up we got object 30 so over here 30b so 29 and 30 are together oh we got a pulse pulsar hey dude hey there's that one and then over here 30b all right so this one a uh, world has an oxygen atmosphere and a ruby colored surface it doesn't get any more scarlet than this yeah that's a good looking world liking that that is that's a good looker definitely so good stuff there all right so 30b right um next up we've got 31c and 31b so they're over here Two binary habitable worlds with advanced civilizations. Oi, oi. Right, over here. So binary planets in orbit of all these binary stars. Right. So there's the first planet. So 31C. And then 31B over here. There's a good look at them there. This one probably needs a little less oceans maybe just because of the surface grid stuff. So something like that. That's probably what I'd estimate it looks like. So there we go. 31B and C. Right, and now we've got 33, so we're going to start to 33. A rogue planet captured by the 33rd star, right. So this was a captured object. Oh, it looks pretty cool and dark. I like the way that looks. It's very dark and mysterious, gassy. Cool. It's almost as dark as like Trace 2B. Right. Right, now we've got 34. A habitable world with purple vegetation. Right, we're almost at the end. So we've got 34, 35. Okay, so this, we are in the final leg, right. 34B. Cattle blood with purple vegetation. Hey, that's looking nice. Uh, let's check the stats. Good stats on it as well. 97 and 82. Excellent. So 34. We've got 34C. A coffee-coloured gas planet thanks to dust in its atmosphere. Nice. 
piece. It's 34. Now we have 35, so it's over here. A water world with intelligent marine life that is very primitive, so all oceaned up. And then lastly, we have got 36B, the last planet in here. So 36. An Earth like planet where life is just as touching down on land, right? Cool. Alright, so here it is. Hey, and that's obviously Star 36. Right, so that is everything. So, well, that was a lot to mention. I hope you like this because it took more time than what I'd like to admit. Oh, yeah, and I also got four Salbies and three Nuskies making a system. Oh, yeah, the random names you get. Oh, dear, oh, dear. So, the overall, really, I like that. That was cool. Nice. Every object having a description. There's the full lineup of all the stars, what we'll do as well, just so you can see them a little easier. Graphics glows off. There you go. So, now you can have a full look at them all. This is how I'd make my size comparison videos, having all the glows off. So there's a full look of the whole gang, all of the objects in here, and then down onto the planets. Favourite gas giant is 100% this rogue one. That is a good looking object there. I really, really like that. And then onto the, obviously, the other objects here. Yeah, great lineup of stuff indeed. So yeah, a massive thank you to XT for sending that in. And if you'd like to send in your own systems, guys, make sure to send... Um, or join my Discord server, link in the description, and you can send them in our upload chat there. And, yeah, that's all you need to do, simply. So, yeah, nice and easy. But, yeah, with all that said and done, guys, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video for this 36 stable star system. It was 36, wasn't it? 36 somewhat stable. So, yeah, massive thanks again to XD for that. And without further ado, make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.